Yo, what's up guys, how you doing? I got a special episode for you today, and that is, we're gonna speak English for the entire video. Whoa, I'm running away. Well, that's right. As I said, we're gonna speak English for the entire video. And why is that? Well, one reason is, as you can hear probably, I got stuffed notes a little bit, so I don't want to speak Polish. Because whenever you speak Polish, it is more clear with stuffed notes that something is wrong with you, and you cannot breathe through your nose. But when you speak English, I found out that it is not that clear anymore. So, you know, you get all these sounds, rah, 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 rah. In English, you can cover it up. Now, the other reason, the true reason, is because I got like dozens, dozens of questions from you guys coming from you asking, oh, Adam, Joseph, AJ, please, could you make at least one video, entire video in English? And that, my friend, is my response to your request so that you can get what you asked for. Now, let's get down to business. What I want to talk about today is the ability of visualization, the art and the power of visualization. As you can, probably as you can imagine, visualization is a powerful tool. Now, let's make an example and watch my face carefully and maybe you'll be able to learn how to visualize. The art of visualization. Let's start. Now, let's get some light on my face. Oh, no, no, no. Yep, that's good. Oh, okay, that's good. We got some light in my face. Now, let's close my eyes. We got to keep it closed because it's visualization. Okay, now, what I visualize, what I visualize is a beam of light shining into my face, right into my face. And I can imagine, I can compare it to the light coming from the sunlight, like the direct sunlight. And I got that specific red color under my eyelids that is red, right? And it definitely looks like the sunshine. Now, next, what I feel, I see there are four walls around me. Oh, oh shit, visualization. And, and there are glass door. Yep, that's what I see. There's, of course, the ceiling and the roof. Oh my God, the roof, the ceiling and the floor. And I can, oh, I can feel some source of heat coming from right over there. And by no means, it is no... No, it is not a radiator. It is something different. It is, oh, there is steam coming out of it. There is water. <sighs> yeah, guys, I know what it is. It must be sauna. That's right. What I'm visualizing right now is sauna. That's where I want to be. It's like negative 10 degrees Celsius outside. And I want to be in a place which is like 95 degrees Celsius positive. So get me, let me get there in three, two, one. Ladies and gentlemen, the art of visualization. Remember this, the most important thing you should keep in mind is when you decide, when you finally decide to go to sauna, you cannot, you cannot just simply walk away. Like you get a, like you know, there's a hundred degrees Celsius over there. So you cannot get out just like that when there is negative 10 degrees outside. So I would suggest, I would recommend you wait and then, you know, cool down a little bit, even out the temperatures or dry your hair just so you don't get messed up. I mean, if you get out just like that right away, oh, I wish you luck, bro. Another thing I would recommend is not forgetting your car keys from the changing room once you leave. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to look at the roads, how beautiful they are. Do you see that? The rear windshield? It's on, I don't want to turn it on. How do I turn it off? Shit. Ladies and gentlemen, the Ford is on the fourth position and now we are turning left. He's turning left, he's turning left, everyone is turning right. Ford Fiesta, Ford Fusion, I'm sorry, Ford Fusion is following everybody. He's catching up, he's not giving up. All right, guys, we are officially back in my crib. As you can hear, I'm not in the best shape ever, right? So something is going wrong. Something is wrong with my throat, with my nose, everything. It's probably gonna take like a day or two before I get back to myself. 
but before we leave there was a question um, frequently repeated question coming from you guys and that was what camera gear what gear do I use for filming to make my videos and uh, just to finish up this video I'm sorry I'm sorry I'm really sorry that today it was not a special video but um, at least we're gonna you know keep the cons consistency and uh, and the flow of the videos uh, one one video a week isn't much so I just you know want to stay in touch with you guys anyway uh, let's get to the camera gear that I use okay so uh, I'm gonna try to make that quick so you don't fall asleep right away let's start with the camera that I use and uh, the main camera that I use for filming is my Sony a6500 you've seen it before uh, I showed it to you it is not the camera that I started with in the first place the first camera that I had was a Canon 700D but then the time has come that I needed to switch to something better and uh, moving on there is an older brother of my Sony a6500 a6000 to be exact it is Alpha 6000 and uh, it is still a pretty good camera although it is a few years old it is still doing a pretty good job most of the time I use with these two cameras my kit lens which is uh, Sony 16 to 50 millimeter and uh, it is a pretty decent lens because it's a uh, really small it's uh, I think one of the cheapest ones and I am simply not afraid that I'm gonna break it or damage it while I'm vlogging and as we all know while you are vlogging and you're running with the camera around the possibility of destroying or breaking your lens or your gear is really high now the biggest beast that I have currently in my arsenal is my Sigma f 1.8 18 to 35 millimeter it is a huge huge lens and uh, I am only using it when I'm using when I'm taking my tripod with me I'm never using it for vlogging because it's simply too big I had to buy a Sigma adapter for it just so I can put it on my Sony camera but altogether for static shots it is amazing another lens I want to show you is my Sony f 1.8 50mm and it is a prime lens it is a really good lens and uh, very good for portrait or macro shots and I won't lie if I tell you that it saved my ass a couple of times. Next we have another Sony lens. It is f4.5 to 6.3 by 55 to 210. So the range is pretty good for long distance capture. A lot of people are asking me what drone do I use for filming and that is a DJI Mavic Pro. I love this little bastard. It is very small, very compatible and I love the image that it creates. Of course it comes with a controller with which you get a very solid grip which is very important. Next we have a gimbal, it is a zoom crane, very useful stuff especially when you're running outside and you want to have a stable frame. Beside the gimbal I also do have a steady cam. some people say it's better. To me personally it's better for dynamic movement because the gimbal not necessarily responds quickly enough to get a good footage. And last but not the least, some ND filters and polarizing filters. Some people say that, you know, the camera and the lens are the most important things, but not many people realize how important are ND filters in filming. And, uh, you know, those little pieces of glass could save your ass, especially when you're shooting outdoor in the direct sunlight. So that would be it. And uh, <coughs> I'm afraid tomorrow I'm not gonna be able to speak anymore. Um, one last thing one last information I want to give you guys and this is the exciting one we are officially gonna have this our first official hangout and it, it is gonna take place at Jump City it's a trampoline park so either it is gonna be Gdansk or Gdynia and we're gonna decide which park is it gonna be based on the comments below so if you are interested if you want to come to Jump City in Gdynia or Gdansk leave a comment in the comment section below saying Gdansk or Gdynia your vote where do you want the first meeting to be and it is going to take place on the February 26th so about 6 p.m. so that would be the exciting information for oh my god ah I cannot speak I don't know what's going on anyway hopefully I'm gonna feel better by tomorrow and uh, for now that would be it you got all the information and uh, what else to say peace out brother Hugs and kisses. Dobra nastaraja.